Okay gang, today we're going to review an old diet that's got some new publicity. And what's that? The HCG diet. But first, I want to introduce you to Bob. And Bob has a really large TV. And on that TV, he saw a commercial for the new product called HCG, which is supposed to make you lose weight and get thin without ever being hungry. Well, Bob got really excited about this and headed out to the store to pick some up. But as on his way there, he decided he might want to rethink this. In fact, he got a little worried that he didn't know much about this product and he needed to learn some more. So, he thought of a friend who might be able to help him. This is Bob's friend, Beth. And it just so happens that she's a research scientist, but she had never heard of HCG, so she thought she'd look into it for him. So Beth headed to her lab to research HCG, and after lots of cups of coffee and lots of research, she was completely shocked at what she found out. See, it turns out that HCG is the hormone women produce when they're pregnant, and the HCG diet was created by a doctor who was trying to understand how women in third world countries could have healthy babies while still on a very low calorie diet. So the doc theorized that increased levels of HCG in pregnant women was helping liberate more fat to be burned as energy so that women could have healthy babies even though they weren't getting in a whole lot of food. So the doc came up with the idea that if he gave HCG to normal men and women who were not pregnant, that they would burn more body fat without getting hungry and still be healthy on a very low calorie diet. That's a pretty interesting theory, but let's see what happens when scientists actually test this out. So throughout the 50s and 60s, scientists took HCG and tested it out to see if it would cause people to lose extra body fat or suppress their appetites. Unfortunately, none of the research ever found anything whatsoever. That is, until the mid-1970s. One scientific group decided to try this out again and found that they did have some results. So what they did is they took two groups of people, put them on 500 calorie diets, one getting a shot of HCG and one getting a placebo. And what were the results? Well, the HCG group was found to have lost slightly more weight and to be slightly less miserable. Well, as you can imagine, this got scientists all excited all over again. So they picked up ACG and started doing research again. And they did this for a solid 20 years, and they did lots of different studies. Unfortunately, not one good study ever showed any more results from ACG. In fact, it was so bad, scientists simply got frustrated and quit trying to use it. Despite the lack of research, that didn't stop supplement companies from selling the product. In the early 2000s, supplement companies were selling HCG along with the starvation diet and the promise that if you took this product, you would get skinny and you would never get hungry. Well, Beth realized that this is basically just starving yourself. I mean, you can lose weight on 500 calories of Cheetos, but that doesn't make it a good idea. I mean, the medical community has told us and warned us that eating calories this low in your diet can lead to severe health problems. So it's pretty clear that ACG doesn't work. But even if it did work, you would have to have injections. The pills and liquid formulas the supplement companies are selling you don't have a chance at working. So purchasing those are essentially throwing your money away. So, Beth decided to go talk to Bob, and he's really glad she did and told him all about ACG. So now, he's looking into a new plan to get fit and in shape. It's called the sleeping diet. Hmm, I don't know if it's going to work, but at least it looks pretty comfortable. Okay, let's review. HCG is the hormone women produce whenever they get pregnant. But supplementing HCG for weight loss or appetite suppression doesn't work. And even though you can lose weight on a 500 calorie diet, it's a really bad idea. Starving yourself is not smart. So instead, you should look into healthy weight management plans with good exercise and nutrition programs. All right, gang, that's all for today. We'll see you next time. Created using Powtoon.